Hello and welcome back to Family Gamer TV and welcome to this let's play of The Last Tinker City of Colors this is a German developed game and I think it's a platforming one um, I've seen the trailers for it, it looks incredibly colorful oh excellent, we play with a controller and as you can see it's already really colorful some kind of options we've got. Uh, this is for the PC. Um, actually, coming out for the PC, the, the Mac, and Linux as well. And there's going to be an Xbox One and PlayStation 4 version mid 2014. Um, but this comes out for the PC in about a couple of weeks' time. Uh, middle of May, I think. So let me just get the controller sorted out. There we go. You can already tell it looks really lovely and colourful. Alright. Okay, well, we'll try out kids mode later on and see what happens and start off now. Tinker World, a place where everything can be built from basic materials, as long as the idea behind it is strong enough. From ancient forests to bustling cities, from the tallest mountain to the deepest ocean, all is crafted with nothing more than color, paper and glue. Even small pets, or giant ones. Paint is produced in the City of Colors and brings life to the inhabitants of Tinkerwell. Everybody has a favorite shade, which makes them individual. But now, the city is in danger. Fortitude has turned to sadness, curiosity to fear, and strength to anger. People have divided the city into districts, even starting to hate other colors. Only in the outer district, where all colors are accepted, are people still normal. But among them lives a boy with very special talents. Soon, he will start a chain of events that will destroy the city. Wow, that's pretty beautiful introduction. Uh, a little heavy-handed on the morality thing, but um, it's I'm surprised how beautiful it is. Very handmade kind of feel to it. Now <laughs> well, this is us, I guess. Yeah, it actually reminds me of kind of Jack and Daxter Banjo Kazooie. In fact, I haven't seen something so colourful since Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts on the Xbox 360. You get so used to the dark kind of colours of lots of games. So to get something like this where it has such a visual kind of feast, it's really impressive. And this is probably going to look really, really good on uh, the next generation of consoles as well. I imagine all the writing, everything's going to really pop out just like it does here on the PC. These character models remind me of Banjo Kazooie a lot. Which kind of makes me want to go back and play that game again. Okay, there we go. Alright. Okay, 
is um, there's actually no jump button. It's more just holding down the right trigger and running. I guess you could say there's not much of a challenge with the platforming right now. Um, like we're just starting it, so this is just an introduction as to the controls. But that would probably make it much easier for any child to play. Not having to worry about being that precise with platforming because it can get really annoying if it's like that. Alright, so we can smash barrels and collect uh, diamonds or something. Alright, that looks like our checkpoints. Alright, those round yellow things for health. Alright, so the water is bad. Well, I guess if we're made of paint, then it would be. Right. Is this the way to go? Oh. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, I guess because we're actually colour, we're made of paint. Any kind of water will dissolve us. that over there? Oh, thank you, we figured that one out. Right, doesn't look like we can actually go anywhere here, so... Should probably head back. design of this. Very kind of little big planet, tear away. Not so much tear away, but more almost like Kirby. Like everything is hand knitted together. It's really charming already, I know this is just the tutorial. Interesting to see if it sort of has any kind of darker moments to it. I mean, it must do, otherwise, there's no story. Right. Oh, the vines. Or whatever it is. Stringy pasta. seem to be working. Oh, well, we just jumped down. That works too. Let's go across here. Oh, collectibles. 
Nothing in Banjo Kazooie. I'm kind of going to be obsessing about these now. Oh, well, it's stumps and grates. Oh, you funny guy. Alright, that looks like our money. It's 52 diamond bits. I don't know if it's just because I'm a cynic, but the old um, kind of racial tension is, seems very, very obvious, and the uh, the red equals bad guys. I don't know, not 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 too subtle, but it probably doesn't have to be because it's not really that type of game. Uh, I don't know why I'm thinking this. It reminds me vaguely of Bioshock Infinite. The, beginning stage of that where you just walk around sort of the world the town I don't, I don't know why yeah, computer's struggling a bit I've got a pretty decent setup, but it is. It sounds like my computer's going to take off. That's right, dude. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, that's really sweet. Looks like we've got a couple of fetch quests coming up. Alright, so we can... We have our guide if we get lost anywhere, just by pressing up on the D-pad. looking at us. Yeah. Okay. 
train. Which are we gonna do first? Oh well, so my Bioshock Infinite thing was <laughs> interesting. Fighting purse, I think. Right, the bullies from the Red District. Training stuff. Like just mashing the B button seems to do that. There we go, on to this guy. One in turn. Oh, I think we can scoot over. Well, yeah, that's a pretty basic fighting system, but it does the job. easy. Mushroom farm. Right, 
Back to grinding. Man, just, this world is really cool. I really love it. It just you don't seem to get many games like this. Um, I'm not sure my boys would be that thrilled with playing this, but it's kind of. I know, it reminds me of when games were kind of more fun than, than sort of serious. Um, oh, it's a sad mushroom. Oh, off he goes! <laughs> I mean, Ratchet and Clank was, was really colourful and funny. Um, it feels kind of similar to that, with you know elements of Banjo Kazooie. Jack and Daxter, just that colour scheme as well. I know, I'm really charmed by this, it's already working its magic with me. And the way the music changes on locations, and now we've got some very kind of old bluegrassy western music for the farmland. Right, what do you want us to do? face he's got. Oh, God. oh, there we go. Oh, that's so fun. That's really funny. All right, more to do. Can't resist the barrels, must hit them all. Uh, over the bridge. Okay, where's old. Um... Oh, we have to go all the way back. There he comes. Alright, just hold the left bumper down, and he will follow us happily. This is quite fun, but this is a this is all quite boring right now. Uh, how do we get over there then? He seems very happy and very sad. Uh, oh look, stepping stones. We get to there. Come on, Big Z. Off we go. Got mushrooms to do something to. There we go. That's four out of four done again. I don't think there's a reason why we're doing this that will become clear much later on in the game. I don't know. I don't think they go to all the trouble of 
making this system without needing to use it later on. Right, actually I think we'll leave it there for now. Um, thanks for watching this Let's Play for Family Gamer TV of The Last Tinker City of Colour. Um, I'm just going to carry on playing around with Pixie for a bit. Um, probably finish up this section and then I shall see you next time when we can get on with the adventure a bit more. So please click like and subscribe and I'll uh, See you next time, goodbye.